to reassemble, we first put the plunger tube into the back of the gun and it fits in a very close housing here and you want to be careful not to uh, rough up your uh, plunger compression plug because that's what uh, determines your velocity and accuracy of the gun in, in a certain respect. So we've pushed the compression spring down inside the gun. I'm using the same tool to compress the trigger. And if, if you watch closely as I push this spring down, you can see the spring traveling through this hole as it's being compressed. So when it's properly compressed, bad. I'm going to do it like this so I can control it. Okay, let me move the camera a little bit. There we go. So here the uh, spring is properly compressed and the key should f fall in there very easily. You never have to force that in, it just has to be lined up on the compression spring. We're going to talk a little bit now about the compression spring and how the tool has to fit on there. Uh, there will be a picture on the video that shows approximately the dimensions of this. So when the thing is in there properly, the two arms span the back of the compression plunger assembly and they're able to force that spring ahead like that. This one also has a groove cut in it so that I don't have to remove the rear sight. When that drops in, you can see the sight screw. If you don't want to make that cut, then you'll just have to take your sight off each time. The next step, once the compression plunger is in the gun, is to reinsert the trigger. Again, we keep this large flat side of the pin up. Set the trigger in there, take our long machine screw, and we'll be inserting it first through this copper hole, and then the second one will go there. And these are just a couple, couple turns is all we're going to put on them now to just keep them in place. Now we have to put the safety back in. So what we're going to do with the safety is we're going to be inserting it through this hole, through the square hole in the trigger. And the problem is that we have to be depressing the safety spring while we are inserting the safety because this spring rides in the notch on the bottom of your safety. So I have a plastic tool that has a little groove cut in it and I will insert it through the back of the gun, depress that spring, and drop the safety in. You'll note that this spring sits about parallel to the top of the square hole. If you've got a spring that sets clear up here, it's going to be much more difficult to depress and get in there. So we'll give this a try. Hold of the spring now with my tool. I push it down, have my notch down towards the trigger, and there's the safety back in the gun, and I push the little spring arm over into the notch, and the gun is basically back together now. All we have to do, put the cocking lever on, put the stock on, Tighten these screws. Um, there's no advantage to having them over tight. We just don't want them to fall off. It's simple, simple enough. 